back. You're watching Logo. Our special designomics segment is back with Vinita Bali, chairperson of Britannia, talking about how design played an integral role from start to finish. Listen in. Vinita, tell us a little bit about how you have used design, uh, integrating it at, at various levels of the various products of Britannia, from the product innovation to the actual packaging and finally reaching the consumer. Great, uh, Preeti, there's lots to talk about. So let me start with a very basic thing, which is the first thing you see as a consumer when you walk into a store. And if it happens to be a supermarket, one of the things we found was that biscuits by nature hmm. kind of get dwarfed amidst True. the large packs that are available, especially if you're walking through a supermarket. And then there's no control over how the biscuit pack actually gets displayed. So there was a very simple insight. So let me show you because it explains the point better. I don't know whether a pack is going to be displayed like this. vertically or horizontally. True. So what we did was... In the same pack, we've got a vertical design and then you've got a horizontal. Right. So it's actually quite simple, you know, I mean, it's a, but not very many people do it. True. And, you know, this insight actually comes when you're sort of walking and you say, if I designed it this way and people are keeping it this way, then people actually don't see the brand name. So I think the whole concept of design, as we think about it, starts with what is the first view that the consumer has of my product? Another thing that we've done quite successfully is that uh, you want biscuits to consume not just at home, but also mm. on the go. So I think behind every design innovation or behind every design design, there is a consumer insight that leads you to think differently, which leads you to design differently. So one of the other insights was that people want biscuits on the go. So, for example, another very successful new product of ours, which is sort of the five grain, when we first launched it, we said we're going to have inside it. So the first thing is this pack itself is resealable, so you can sort of seal this. But you can't have a resealable pack for biscuits, which is a hygroscopic product, without protecting the biscuits inside. So we said we'll take a pack and have smaller packs like this. And this small pack actually has three biscuits. So it comes in a tray and you know this biscuit is designed very differently. It doesn't really look like a conventional biscuit. True. I think there's another thing when, which becomes very uh, critical when you're looking at a biscuit design. And a lot of people perhaps don't spend so much time thinking about biscuits. But you know what are we talking about? This biscuit for example would be terrible if it is broken. Um, so the way to protect that is to actually put it into a tray. Right. So when we're thinking about design in biscuits, we're thinking about design from the shape, the output and productivity on the oven, because biscuits are baked and you know they travel on this belt which goes through an oven which is heated at 350 degrees. So in order to maximize your output, You've got to have a size which basically enables you to have multiple, you know, lines of biscuits coming out at the other end. All of that is part of the design. So when we're thinking about design, we're thinking about ease of productivity from a making point of view, ease of opening, ease of resealing. Um, and then we haven't even got to the texture, the taste. Exactly, I was just going to ask you that because the sheer act of eating itself has to be designed. Absolutely, you know the texture, the taste, the bite, it can't be too hard, it can't be too brittle. Um, you know, once you've bitten into a biscuit, how does it feel in your mouth? Some biscuits have to have a crumbly texture. Right. But if I, were just selling, if I were selling you a cream biscuit with a crumbly texture, you as a consumer would reject it completely. Mm. So I think there is a lot of science and there's a lot of very intuitive thinking and there's a lot of just very pragmatic uh, insight and knowledge that goes into designing. Uh, you know, what we are used to buying for, you know, 5 rupees and 10 rupees, opening the pack, eating it and not giving too much thought about it. True, true. And this is such a cluttered category as well. I mean, you know, wherever you look at, I mean, not just biscuits, but snacks. You know, everybody's trying to get in with different kind of innovations. So I, I'm sure you're thinking all the time 
about creating a key differentiator using the consumer insights that you have, mm -hmm. but innovating within this to make sure that through the clutter, design becomes that key differentiator which positions you always up ahead. Oh, absolutely. We think of design as being intrinsic to the brand. You know, the brand is not the name or the graphics the logo or, or the, the swish the packaging, or the, yeah. you know, what is shown on the packaging. The brand is what you see. The brand is the experience of it's when you're experience. opening it. The brand is how does it look when you've opened the pack. The brand is, you know, what does it taste like when you uh, take a bite of it. All of that, and I think the brand also is how the product gets delivered. The same thing happens with the heat. So uh, the heat distribution system, for example, the design of the business system that brings fresh the heat to you when you want it, involves us to have created an insulated distribution. When that packet of the heat has traveled, when you as a consumer open it, it should still be set. Now that is design thinking. I think you've really, really articulated uh, how Britannia actually lives up to the promise. Thank you so much for being with us today. It was really, truly enlightening for all of us, I'm sure. Great Certainly for me. <laughs> Great talking with you, Kriti, as Thank always. You. Thank you. Thank you. On that note, it's a wrap on Logo this week. Thank you so much for watching in. In case you have any feedback, please feel free to write to us. Our Facebook and our Twitter IDs are flashing on your screen. Alternatively, you can also write to us on logo at utvmoney.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Until next week, goodbye. Goodbye.